Breathing is a basic automatic function of being alive, but not all breathing is created equal. Today, we're going to talk about Dantian breathing, which has been practiced for centuries by ancient masters to center and cultivate their energy and calm their minds. Dantian breathing is a very deep practice with many layers, but today we're going to cover the basics. First, what is the Dantian? Dan means energy and Tian means center. So it's our energy center. And while we have three main energy centers in the body, when we're talking about Dan Tian breathing, we're talking about breathing into the belly, into what is known as the lower Dan Tian. When we think of breathing, it's natural to think about the lungs because our lungs, as one of their main basic functions, bring oxygen into the body. However, too much breathing into the lungs can cause us to feel imbalanced. The chest area of the body is an emotional center for our bodies. And so if we breathe into the lungs and keep that energy in the chest, we're actually fueling our emotions. So we can tend towards feeling emotional or anxious or have a tendency to hyper ventilate when we're stressed. In addition, when we keep our energy in our chest, it's very close to the head. And so energy will tend to rise up into the head and that will also fuel our thoughts and make our minds really busy. For this reason, it's so beneficial to learn Dantian breathing, to learn how to drop that breathing into the belly. Today, we're going to do a simple practice to get you started to help you bring that energy, bring that breathing down into your center. Let's go ahead and stand up. <clears throat> so standing up, we're going to first take a basic Qigong stance. So feet are going to be shoulder width apart, light bend in the knees and tucking tailbone under. This is the basic way to stand for Qigong that helps us to center and ground our energy. So from here, we are going to practice breathing into the belly. So just like with our lungs, our lungs like to expand, right? When we breathe in, our lungs will fill with air. And then when we breathe out, the lungs will collapse. So when we do this, oftentimes we breathe into the chest, filling the lungs and our stomach goes in. And then when we, when we deflate the lungs, the belly will then go out. This is not Dantian breathing. We want to do the opposite. So what I mean by that is we want to pretend that there's a big lung inside our belly. And when we breathe in, we expand and fill that lung with air in the belly. So the belly expands. And then when we breathe out, the, the lung deflates and the belly comes in. This is Dantian breathing or the basics but we're going to expand on that a little bit to give you a fuller type of breathing. So bringing the hands onto the belly, first we're gonna entrain muscles to do what we want. So very physical, nothing to do with energy necessarily. So bringing the hands onto the body, light bend in the knees, tuck the tailbone. We're gonna breathe in and expand the belly forward, push it out and exhale and pull it into the spine. So inhale, expand the belly like you're pushing and exhale and pull it back to the spine. Good, let's do that eight more times. Good, relax your belly. You can bring your arms down to your sides. So now we've trained our muscles. This is what we want to do. When we breathe in, expand. When we breathe in, uh, come back towards the spine. 
Good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on the sides. So we have an energy channel that goes around the belly called the Dai Mai channel. And this channel is an extraordinary meridian that actually feeds energy to other meridians. It's a very good meridian. For some reason, it doesn't show up on the meridian doll. So we're going to bring the hands onto the waist. You're going to imagine you have two lungs on the sides. And then when you breathe in, expand those lungs and then exhale and with your hands, just go ahead and press in. We're just in training the muscles. Breathe in, expand those lungs and exhale, press in. Breathe in, expand the sides of your body and exhale, push it in. Good. Seven more times. Great job, release the arms down. The last component that we're gonna add in is the lower back, where the kidneys are. So first we're gonna activate that area. So you're gonna make an O-ring like this, bring the hands to the back and tap up and down around the kidney area. Good. And then stop and we're going to rub the kidneys. So with your hands, just rub on the kidneys. And when our kidneys are feeling healthy, you feel safe and nourished. So you can just take a moment to feel safe and nourished with your kidneys. Good. And release. So next we're actually going to breathe now into the kidneys. So you can even imagine like your kidneys our little lungs. They kind of look like lungs, so not as difficult to imagine, but imagining your kidneys are lungs. So to stimulate that area, we're going to round the arms forward, round the back, tucking tailbone, and breathe into your kidneys. And then exhale, return, arms return down. Good, inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pressing air into the back. Don't worry about your belly right now. Breathe in and exhale. Good, seven more times. Great job, dropping the arms down. So now we've trained some of our muscles what we want to do. Let's go ahead and activate the sea of chi. So two inches below the belly button is your chi high point. So grab your thumbs with your fingers and tap on that spot. We're just waking it up. So you can imagine that vibration is coming deep into your belly and all the way back to your lower abdomen, waking up the lower back. Okay, good. So now we've activated that area. The last thing we're gonna do is Dantian breathing. So again, making sure you have a good Qigong structure, knees bent, tailbone tucked, and 
We're going to bring the hands lightly onto the belly. This time, instead of really being forcing, we're gonna soften everything. So imagine in the center of your belly, you have a beautiful ball of energy. And then as you breathe, that ball expands in all directions. So the belly, the sides, and the back will all expand together and contract together. Okay, here we go. So breathing in, see that ball and imagine it expand. And then exhale and let the ball contract. Good, breathe in, expand. And exhale, contract. Breathe in. And exhale. Keep going. Five more times like this. Great job. So that is the basics of Dantian breathing. It may be a little bit difficult in the beginning, but with practice, your body will learn how to do it and you will reap the great benefits of having a calmer mind and more energy centering you in your lower abdomen. I hope you will keep practicing and have a wonderful day.